attenuation favorite. So when a signal goes through free space, it'll attenuate. This is no different than your voice. When you talk, your signal attenuates. So the further away you are from someone that's talking, the weaker the signal is, the harder it is to hear them. And eventually you'll be so far away, you won't hear them at all. And so signals attenuate. The higher the frequency, the greater the attenuation. And so remember we talked about if you're deploying in the 5 gigahertz band, your signal won't go as far for the same transmitted power than if you're at the 2.4 gigahertz band because higher frequencies attenuate more than lower frequencies. And so attenuation and all signals attenuate. Wireless lands, Bluetooth, your voice, cellular phones, everything will attenuate. How much it attenuates and how well you can hear it is a factor of what power level I transmitted at, your antenna gain, and what frequency you're operating in, and the distance you are away from the transmitter. So to continue our conversation about attenuation, and here I'm assuming free space, i.e. you're just line of sight and you're propagating just to illustrate attenuation, the signal gets weaker as you move away, so it starts to deteriorate. And so what I need to do is I need to make sure that I have enough received signal strength to successfully demodulate and decode your signal. And you remember we talked about if I'm close to the transmitter, then I can use higher levels of modulation, maybe all the way up to 64 quam and get to higher data rates. And as I move away, I have to reduce my modulation encoding because I'm dealing in a more difficult hour of environment. My received signal is weaker and therefore I have to drop my modulation encoding and therefore my data rate will drop. So I need to make sure that I receive enough signal strength to recover the signal. Now one of the things to look for when you're looking at specifications of client devices and access points, any radio, is to look at the receiver sensitivity. And the receiver sensitivity is going to tell you I need to receive this much signal energy in order to be able to demodulate the signal. And the receiver sensitivity will be different for different levels of modulation and coding. So a good specification for a wireless product will say, I need to receive this much signal strength to decode at 64 quam, this much signal strength to decode at 16 quam, this much to decode at QPSK, and this much to decode at BPSK. So again, lots of terms here. Received signal strength is what is arriving at the antenna and what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have achieved the receiver sensitivity that's specific for your device. And different devices have different receiver sensitivities. And when you're planning out your network, you need to accommodate your weakest device. So whatever device has the weakest receiver sensitivity is what you should be using for planning your network work because when they can't recover the signal then that defines the edge of your cell.